So I got to start off talking about the camera issue at the beginning of this game uh, because that relates to how much game video there is uh, at the end of this gear talk. I have two cameras I use. I've done a gear review thing about these cameras. This is a brand called Apeman and these are the model A80. I've had these two for a particularly long time and usually the one in the net does take a beating. But the important part to this game is I actually have this little green sticker on this one that says glass and this is the camera I always put up in the glass. This one is my net camera that mounts to the little box and goes in the net. There's a reason this one's labeled for me to always remember that. This one I've noticed over the last, I don't know, close to a year, that there's a little tiny scuff mark on the lens. And sometimes that causes a little blur effect. When you're watching the video, it's kind of center right. So for this game, I thought, hey, last second decision, let's swap the cameras. And it wasn't until after and I reviewed the footage that I remembered the important thing. This one is labeled for the glass because even the slightest little bump to this camera when it's recording ends up looking like what you saw in the intro to this video. I can't believe I did that, but what it means is I have no in-net footage for this particular video. So getting right down to the nitty gritty, this is a Tom Barrasso Buffalo Sabres tribute kit. I spent a lot of time looking at different photos and decided this was a kit I should be able to do relatively easy. It involves the John Brown JB280 Pro pads that I recently picked up over the summer. Still love these pads. Really like the leather John Brown era of gear. And for this particular time frame, I matched it up with the GM12 blocker and GM21 catch glove. I did have a little bit of time preparing for this, so I did play around with some ideas on how to uh, either replicate for real or just for look the special backhand uh, finger protector that uh, Barrasso used on his gloves. I just couldn't make anything work. I wasn't really willing to do any permanent uh, modifications to my glove, which it does look like he had to poke some extra holes to run some extra lace to hold that on. It appears to be plastic, probably from like the... Uh, thigh or hip area of a pair of pants or something like that and maybe it was heated to give it a little beveled shape so moving right along white sk2000 with an hm30 and a cooper gtp dangler for this time frame that's what barrasso was wearing and i happen to have recently acquired this vintage style buffalo sabers athletic knit jersey that fits really well over my chest protector finishing off I did go with a blue with white graphic uh, Cooper Super Light GL stick, which happens to be a straight blade. Um, I believe Barrasso was probably using a Super Pro Light in uh, that era. So that's the gear for this one. Game video is coming up. Like I said, it's kind of a hacked uh, edit. It's pretty short. There's no net camera, so the whole second period really is just a little bit of helmet camera footage. If you've got any comments or questions about the gear or the gameplay, make sure you drop them down below. And as always, thanks for watching.